Hello, welcome, dear spiritual friends. Thank you for being with me. My name is Cindy St. Martin, and I am a certified angel therapist and holistic healer for the mind, body, spirit, and soul. And you're watching my weekly angel card reading for the week of May 17, 2013. So I thank you all for being with me. You bless me by watching and sharing my videos. And in return, you are also likewise blessed. So I'm very grateful for that. I hope you had a wonderful week last week, and hopefully this week will be just as wonderful, if not better, and certainly enjoying the weather that we're having, our springtime weather. It's just been so delightful, and I've been, it's made me even happier <laughs> than I normally am, and I hope you are enjoying it as well. I will select one card from three different decks, and then a prayer card from Archangel Michael. I cannot pick a wrong card because of law of attraction and my intentions and because I called upon God and the Ascendant Masters, the angels and archangels to be with me. So let's begin. <laughs> I'm going to begin um, this week's reading with uh, the angel power cards and we'll see what our first card for the week is. We have a new moon tomorrow and like the, it says new moon it means new beginnings and new things to happen when we have a full moon it means changes so this is new beginnings so i hope you will enjoy the new moon coming tomorrow <laughs> okay i'm going to cut the deck we'll see what our first card is It's the Ten of Michael, and the card reads, A situation has ended, and you are finally free. New opportunities for happiness will now follow. Put the past behind you. You know, I, I always think, you know, when something begins, it's especially something less desirable than, than we like. Uh, uh, the ending is present. You know, there's the opposite is always present with every situation. So if it's a negative thing, the positive thing is present. <laughs> and sometimes we just have to ride out the storm and, and know that, that the end is coming and everything's going to be all right with our faith and our beliefs. So the angels are telling us it's over. Let it go, <laughs> you know. New opportunities. Once things close and end, then it brings new opportunities for happiness. And this is great because of the new moon that's coming. And put the past behind us. Just let it go. And let new things come into our lives. When we hold on to the past and hold on to things that happened uh, in the past, um, th there's no room for anything new. <laughs> it's clutter. Well, who wants to hold on to clutter? <laughs> Not me. So just let it go and know that all is okay. So it's a really good card, especially with the new moon coming. And I love this card because it shows a ballerina taking her bow. It's now over. So take take your bow or your curtsy. <laughs> and said, I'm done. Let's begin the next show or the new show. The next set of cards are uh, the romance cards. And we'll see what the romance angels have to say. Okay, I'm going to cut the deck. Wow, this card says soulmate. And it reads, that, yes, this is your soulmate. So if you're, <laughs> if you're wondering or uh, you're looking, uh, your soulmate's coming. And uh, or if you're wondering if the one person you're with, yes, it is your soulmate. You know, we get all we get many soulmates in our lifetimes, and some of them are romantic, <laughs> and some are just people who touch our lives, who meant to come and make wonderful changes in our lives. And both relationships can be intimate, without being um, without being sexual, or they can be sexual, whatever 
closeness that you need. But there usually a soulmate is someone who is touches your soul and makes changes in your life and makes you grow. And sometimes they're here for a short time, sometimes they're here for a lifetime. But it's wonderful. So the situation has ended and we got a soulmate coming that's in our lives. Maybe that's the new opportunities that come with the soulmate. So that's a really good card. And the next and the last set of cards for the reading is uh, the, the Angel Tower cards. So we'll see what card comes up next. Cut the deck. It says, oh, it's the five of fire. <laughs> and it says to us, competing goals, bothersome details, conflict with others. Okay. <laughs> Let's say that's what's going on now. Maybe there's some, uh, competition going on and and details are just bothering you you, you don't have time for them <laughs> just getting in the way why does this have to happen and you're grumpy and you're grouchy and you're and you're disagreeing with others or other people are irritating you which actually they're not irritating you you're allowing them to irritate you so <laughs> we allow uh, everything that happens in our lives we allow with our emotions and that so we just let it dismiss but the ten of michael says the situation has ended. We can move forward. We have loving soulmates around us for that. And we have the opportunities to be happy. So we need to tap into that and, and let that go. Any of those uh, bothersome details or any conflicts with others, just let it go. Let it be in the past. Put it in the past quickly. You know, um, once, once a, a conflict or any situations that's present, it's very quickly in the past. <laughs> you know as soon as I end this video it'll be in the past so if you look at things in a positive way then you create a karma and these ener positive energies that come to you so just let it go you know don't be pulled into someone's ego and get into the conflict or don't be pulled into the ego of holding on to the past well this person did this to me they didn't do anything to you you allowed them to do it to you so forgive yourself and forgive them that just let it be. They're just doing what they're supposed to do in this lifetime. You know, I, I tell people, you know, with my sessions, and I tell everyone's perfect. And, you know, because people say, I'm not perfect. And I go, yes, you are perfect. I says, you know that mean and nasty person that you know? They're perfect, too. And they look at me. <laughs> Crazy. And I says, they're, they're perfect at being mean and nasty. Why would you expect them to be imperfect? So it's how you look at things and see people in that way. Know that they're perfect in who they're supposed to be. They may not be perfect for you, but they're perfect in who they're supposed to be. You know, and allow them to be themselves. And, and if they're nasty and terrible, they're suffering. So God gives us people who are suffering so we can bless them. So we want to make sure we bless people who are suffering in that way. And recognize that and show compassion and by doing that we create a reality and karma that we are so deserving of so it's how you look at things see and create happiness in your life in that way and know that we're all perfect because God made us all perfect in who we are supposed to be in this lifetime so I hope uh, that uh, enlightens you and inspires you in a, in a better way so of course the last set of cards a prayer from Archangel Michael and we'll see <laughs> what prayer he has for us for the week okay this card won't go in the deck so this is the card I'm going to use wow <laughs> it says romance angels are healing you oh I'll show you <laughs> Beautiful picture. See the little cupids? 
And it says, Dear Guardian Angels of my soulmate, Thank you for preparing my soulmate in me for love, for giving us the motivation to, oh, for giving us the motivation to make helpful life changes and for arranging us to meet. Thank you for helping us recognize each other and have the courage to say hello <laughs> so that we can eventually delve in the true intimate relationship. So this is great. We have the soulmate card that comes up and the prayer card uh, asking, uh, uh, guiding our soulmate to meet us and for us to say hello and to recognize our, uh, each other. You know, as we're looking for a soulmate, our soulmate's looking for us too. So be aware of that and, and stay positive and always be the person you want to attract because we attract like-minded people to us with our energies. So always be the person you want to attract into your life. And they're going to come. And be open and be aware of, of uh, your surroundings and the messages that you're getting by doing that. Okay. So I thank you all for being with me again. And I wish you lots of love and happiness and peace. And I invite you to visit me at my website at cindyshealing.com. There you'll see everything that I do. Uh, you can uh, ask me a question, join my contact list, and you can um, connect with me with my social media sites as well. If you'd like to have a session with me, it's very affordable. You just pick the price you can afford to pay and we'll connect uh, either through Skype or on the phone or in person if you live close by. So I hope you take advantage of that as well. I also host a live web chat every Wednesday night and you can just go to my website uh, and click on the live chat link and it'll take you there and you can get a free reading from me and connect with other like-minded people. It's great for Wednesday night because it's in the middle of the week. Sometimes we need an extra boost to get us through <laughs> to the end of the week. And especially that summertime is coming here. We're so excited about our weekends and what we can do and enjoy the, the fine weather and the long days. And so uh, it's it's a good way to help us boost us to get through. And it actually, it, you know, it boosts me up too. It gives me um, satisfaction and things like that. So it blesses me as well when you come. So. So thank you all. I wish you a great week. And know you're powerful when you're in the knowing. When you have God, the Ascendant Masters, the angels and archangels behind you, you are powerful. There's no stopping you. So until next week, I send you lots of love, blessings, and light from me to you. And of course, I wish you all namaste. Bye-bye. See you next week. Bye.